Welcome to Mountain Pose. Whether in yoga or other forms of working out or our daily life, Mountain Pose is so relevant as it really sort of represents our daily essence of um, being. So Mountain Pose in Sanskrit is Tadasana, keeping it in that yoga formation and it really represents know stability and as we think of being in mountain pose you can join me now um, coming here we want to um, stand up tall and we want to work on aligning and really um, strengthening the entire body into what is can also be known as a standing plank position for anybody who uses a suspension trainer or knows anything TRX. Everything is done in a plank position and standing is a plank. So let's go ahead and um, bring your legs together and just know if um, that is just not possible because of your body makeup and your anatomy makeup that is fine. A little space between them is fine. But draw your feet together, draw your legs together as works for your body. And then starting with the feet, I want you to lift your toes and then think about spreading them out. So we're connecting down and into the earth and then moving up from there, engaging the quads, but by drawing the kneecaps up towards the hips. From there, we kind of want to settle and soften through the hips and through the sacrum, softening that lumbar back. And then as I like to say, zipping up through the abs, feeling the spine in good alignment, the vertebra sort of laying right on top of one another and getting a good balance through the chakras that move up through the root, through the crown of our head. From there, we want to relax the shoulders and let the arms relax at the sides. And then our head, our natural sort of alignment, our head aligns over the shoulders, ear over shoulder. Our shoulders align over the ribs, ribs to hips, hips to knees, and knees to ankle. Just standing quietly, and if it is comfortable for you, go ahead and close your eyes. Mountain Pose or Tadasana is a great position to take a break in any part of your day, especially if you do a lot of seated work or if you're just rapidly moving throughout your day, it is a great way to come back into your day and what is happening in that moment and just rebalancing and recentering your mind and body, aligning all of the chakras from the root up to the third eye and up through the crown. So you might have noticed if you closed your eyes, you might feel a little less stable, especially if you have your legs and your feet close together. So this is great little practice here as well. But take that time through the day and use this as a rest, as a break, giving your body the time to realign and rest all of those muscles from the busyness of any given day. It's just a sign of self-respect to your home, your body that you live in day in and day out. So from here, let's go ahead and just add a little breathing into this, which is another thing that is super important that I'll talk more about this month. So let's just inhale, reach the arms up and exhale lower. 
Let's inhale, match movement to breath, and exhale a little bit slower, a little bit longer. Inhale, exhale. That longer exhale allows us to tap into our parasympathetic system, our rest, relax, and digest. Which is what all of us need a little more in with the busyness of our lives. So let's do one more together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Shoulders are relaxed. Shoulder blades falling nicely in towards the spine. And just observe how you feel. Eyes open or eyes closed. And then let's open the eyes. That is Mountain Pose, and that is just a really brief introduction as to um, some content that will be presented here through the month of March, along with some little mini workshops. Um, and the whole purpose is to bring more mindfulness, more natural, healthy, aligned movement and breath to your body and becoming a better friend to our body, our home, where we spend 24 seven from the beginning um, to the end. So come back each day where, I'll, where I will introduce another yoga pose and most certainly um, make some correlations to how um, each pose expands out into the rest of our life and also to um, the rest of our fitness because just mountain pose alone again represents that stability and with great stability we can do great things and when we have um, imbalances um, and whatnot you know we have to work a little bit harder to find that stability and it's a true process so thanks for tuning in today i'm looking forward to going on this journey um, and bringing all of this to you. I hope you have a wonderful day.